today we start filming the first episode of the new show, which is yet to be untitled. Over the past few weeks we've been throwing around a few ideas, but we've come up empty handed. I wanted to call it Two and a Half Men, but I've been told that title's already been taken, to which my response is, since when? Since when? Since when? Since when? Since when? What about Boy Meets World? That's a good title. Dude, it's already been used, alright? What about, uh, Ben Meets World? Mmm... I'll consider What it. about Ben versus the world, or like, just Ben's Dude, world? Dude, let's not try and glorify Ben so much that his name is part of the title of the show. I thought he was the main character, though. Well, he is, but that's because he wrote the script. I just don't want him to get a huge ego. You understand? Yeah, I think so. Good. Okay, so like, what about like, everybody, everybody loves Ben. Or, better yet, everybody hates Ben. Are you serious? Oh, that must be Ben with the rest of the gear. Do me a favor. Don't tell him about this conversation, okay? What conversation? Exactly. Whoa, who the hell are you? Good day, sir. My name's Jeff Johnston. Who is this guy? Don't worry, man, I got this. Sorry, who? I'm the personal aide to one Mr. Benjamin Harold. You gotta be fucking kidding me. God damn it, Jeffrey, I told you to open the door first before you handle the expensive gear. I'm sorry, sir. Won't happen again, Ben? No. No, sorry, Mr. BH. It's okay. Tuck in your shirt, you look like a fool. It's a t shirt. Fellow cast members, how are we all doing today? Alright, new title Three guys, one girl, and one big asshole. And Ben's the asshole. <laughs> Jeffrey, I need you to take a pen and pad and record the following. Go to the store, get me, please, one, a pack of ten t-shirts, blank, preferably. Number two, a pack of M&M's, peanuts. And number three, Dark Knight on Blu-ray. You don't already own Dark Knight on Blu-ray? Did I say you could talk? So what was that, Jeffrey? Pack of ten t-shirts. Dude, man. Uh, Dark Knight on X Why is Ben acting Blu-ray. so strange? Man, dude, I don't know, but it's not the first time. No? No, dude. He uh, he acted this way when we worked on Flight Path. He did? Yeah, dude, he showed up with this whole entourage full of people, didn't bother telling me or anyone else. That's fucked up. Do you think he's panel? Do you know what you just asked me? This is Ben, the cheapest motherfucker we know. Yeah. He's probably paying them uh, with one ton of soup. Dark on a right, Jeffrey? Ginger beef or uh, something. Yep. Uh, what a bunch of suckers! Uh, yeah, but at least the girl's cute. Uh, she was yes, here when we were working on Flight Path, dude. Large that guy? Three, I don't know who the fuck that guy is. He's probably some film school graduate. Perfect. Dude, man, why do you say that? Because he obviously looks like a moral. Ah! Careful! You want to apply my blush like you're treating human skin and not a fucking cinder block? I'm gonna wake up with a rash in the morning. Sorry. You should be. Jeffrey, scratch this. Mm, excellent. Dude, man, this is crazy. I've never seen him act like this before. I know. He's acting like a total fucking asshole. And it's not fair, dude. Why, because he's not sharing them with us? No, because I'm the asshole. That's my thing. All right, all right. Maybe so we should talk to him. Maybe we should take a pin and stick I, it in his I, fat little head. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't want to hurt him right, again. Jeffrey? You know, like, uh, yep. I will if uh, I have to, but... I didn't mean literally. Good, because I thought for a second... Okay, Jonah, just shut up. we got to figure out a way to get these people out of my house, okay? Three, not four. Okay, how are we get? 
How are we going to do that? Ah! That is it! I don't have to sit here and be tortured by some heavy-handed monster with a makeup kit. Get the hell out of here! You're fired! Jeffrey, read that list back to me. Uh, a pack of ten. Good. Yo, are we uh, filming this bitch or what? Yeah, I'm probably not impressing Josh and Jonah, you know, with the way I'm acting, but fuck that. I don't give two shits about any of that. You know, I'm coming here with my personal aides and they think they can share aides? Well, fuck that. Uh, go get your own aides. Someone has to take this shit seriously. And it might as well be me, the star, the creator, the writer of this fucking show. So, you know, fuck you. Those dudes could have gone out there and gotten AIDS for themselves, but they didn't, you know? And I'm not about to share my AIDS. Ever. <laughs> Gonna do any stretches before we start, or... Uh... What? Never mind. Woo! All right, Jonah. Come on. Hit me. What? I want you to slap me. Just slap me in the face. Josh, I don't, I don't know. Should, what should I do? Oh, yeah. All right, buddy. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Wow. Getting in the zone. It was great. Do it again. One more time. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, it feels good. Just man, quick. are you? I think you're on drugs, man. I'm not on drugs. This is how we get in. This is how we get stoked. Come on, hit me in the face now! Oh, <laughs> woo! Oh my god! Oh, yeah! Oh, oh this was what awesome. the fuck, man? Dude, don't slap me like that. I, I'm not in for the slaps like that. Dude, you slap me, I slap you back. That's how it works. That's how we get stoked. I'm not stoked. Let's just stop with the slapping business, please. I'm trying to be a professional. This is how they do it. This is how Brad Pitt does it. I don't want to get slapped, man. You can slap Brad Pitt, not me. Josh, can I get a cut here? Dude, I haven't even fucking started filming yet, Good. okay? Jeffrey, latte! Something's really happened to Ben. He's turned into, like, this egotistical, power-hungry maniac. I don't know, I feel like maybe he fell into, like, a black hole or something in, uh, like, some parallel universe. And, like, evil Ben, the evil version of Ben, came back. And that's what's going on. That can happen, right? You call this a latte? Ask for 2% non-fat milk. I can feel my neck getting fatter. Uh, the, the lady at Starbucks said 2% non-fat milk doesn't even exist. You find a way to make it exist. Or else you won't be the one existing. It doesn't make sense. Are you looking at my neck? No. I saw you, sneaky bastard. You're staring at my neck, right? It's fat. No, it doesn't look fat at all. I mean, I wasn't staring at your neck. Take this latte back. Now. I didn't get a receipt. Take it back. Or else I'm not lending you Madden 11. You understand me? Okay, I'll ask them. Good. I couldn't stand aside and let Ben mistreat this fucking film student. I wanted to be the one manipulating him and making him feel like shit. Not Ben. So I intervened. Hey man, why are you being such a pussy? Pussy? What? Yeah, you're doing everything he fucking yells at you to do. It's actually pretty pathetic. I'm, oh, well, I'm sorry. Quit fucking apologizing. You're acting like that thing on your shirt. It's, it's a baby. Uh, I thought that was just a cheeky reference to a good movie. I thought I was going to impress him, and in film school they said you have to respect the hierarchy, and he's the director, so I have to do everything. Wait, he said he was the fucking director? Yeah, he said his main influences are Kubrick and Hitchcock, although he said that Kubrick is more... Shut up and listen to me. He's not the director, okay? He's just a demented individual with mental problems. I think he's got brain problems, actually. Well, I won't go into it right now. Okay, I'm the fucking director. So that means you have to listen to what I say. Well, how do I know you're not just Josh and me? As a director, we only work with talented people. And you are talented people. Thanks, boss. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I hate working with amateurs. They're lazy, they're unmotivated, 
and they don't dress with enough style. I've been here six hours and we haven't done any filming. Fucking amateurs. Yo, camera guy, can we uh, get on with this, please? I gotta go home in GTL, if you know what I mean. We've been ready to film all day, Ben. You're the one being a fucking asshole and holding up everything. <sighs> Excuse me for being professional. No, dude. He's right. You're acting all weird. Like, uh, if you're like some other Ben, like from a different dimension, not like the real Ben, just tell us. Maybe we can work with that. What is he saying? Jonah, it's not an evil Ben. He's just being a prick. How, how can you tell, man? Like, things happen all the time that you can't explain. Parallel universes don't exist. Have you ever been to one? How can you, how can you say they don't exist without any proof? I can say Santa Claus doesn't exist, and I don't need proof for that claim. S Santa Claus doesn't exist? Okay, seriously, guys. Uh, we can talk about Santa Claus another day, but I... I, we gotta wrap this up. We gotta Only after you admit that you're being a dick fuck and the whole reason we haven't started filming it is because of you. What about like when you open a present and it says like from Santa at Christmas? Isn't that proof enough? Jonah, for fuck's sake! I can't take this. Where's my coffee? Tweak it. Jeffrey. Where's Jeff? Jeffrey. Ah, Jeffrey's here, everybody. I trust you have my latte like we pre-discussed. Fellow cast members, I'm going to drink my latte, and then we're going to get back to filming once everyone's calmed down, right? Come on, Jeff. Quick. Pour us cold. Jeffrey! Yeah! Say my proper name! Huh? On your fat neck. How's that feel? Scalding! Not balding like tennis balls. Holy shit, buddy. Yeah. I didn't think you had it in you. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations to you, too. For teaching me how to stand up for myself, bitch! Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, how's that feel? All you directors can lick my testes. That's right, I say it doctor style! I don't need your Madden 11. Screw that, I went to EB Games, traded in Little Big Planet and Red Dead Redemption, I got it for free! I don't even like Red Dead Redemption. Oh, and your fat neck. Your fat neck. Yeah, it looks like you're... Friggin' head has a foreskin. You're an actual fucking dickhead. How's that feel? You gotta go to a dictionary and look that up. You know what? I'm gonna start my own show. It's gonna have dwarves riding dragons. Through fire. Screw you guys. See you, Jeff. So what have I learned today? Well, I've learned that I shouldn't let my head get big on certain situations. Having an ego gets you nowhere, and in order for people to work as a team, we need to all be considered equal. I've also acquired quite a taste for iced coffee, and I will be getting that myself from now on. Oh. Dude, glad you ditched the stupid shirt. Thanks, man. It was really uncomfortable, too. I just... I thought it made me look pretty important. It made you look like a dick. Yeah! Fuck. Look, I'm... I'm sorry, guys. I feel... I feel like a dick. I feel terrible. I shouldn't have brought those stupid people over here. I'm sorry. Good. Because just to let you know, I'm the fucking asshole. Not you. Not Jonah. Me. Okay, that's cool. Just as long as we're clear that you're okay with being the asshole. Yeah, as long as you're okay with being Chinese. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, good. So, what, what does that make me? You willfully threw coffee in your face. Yeah. That makes you the idiot. Cool. You also think Santa Claus is real. Santa Claus is real. So are unicorns. So are leprechauns. So is Jesus the Bigfoot, Yeti, uh, Chupacabra. There's all kinds of things. Hey, I think this big guy's had enough for today. I need a brew. Right at that moment, it hit me. I knew right then and there what to call the show. It was simple. 
How about we call the show The Rebrew? What? Just drop the weekly? Yeah, it's short, it's catchy, it's... It's uninspired, unoriginal. It's pretty much the same title, just minus one word. It's perfect. What do you say to me?